passion really started uh, early in life with my dad having a body shop. Um, while I worked for my dad at his body shop, I actually started crashing cars. So I ran uh, 75 demolition derbies roughly. Holy cow. Uh, built everything from a Camry to uh, an Impala, Ford Explorers, anything that I could find cheap from a shop or from my dad's shop. Uh, I would weld some bars into it and go out on the track and go to the local demolition derby and, and crash them up. So I kind of fell in love with cars at that point, uh, maybe on the opposite spectrum of what we're doing now. <laughs> and then um, from there, you know, when I went to school to be uh, an electrical engineer, I, I fell right into the uh, right into Toyota really as a co-op early on in my um, in my college career, and um, I did three co-op terms with Toyota and then went full time in, in 2015. So from there, um, I saw they were building cars and had this team that was kind of started around 2008, so it was smaller, really running uh, 24 hours of lemons. And they had a gap in like engine building and work, wrenching on the cars really. So I started working my way up through the ranks of the program. We have the 24 hour lemons was our main entry level program. Uh, got into a little bit of champ car. And then from there, our real showcase was the One Lab of America program, which is you know what this car is really purpose built for. Um, that One Lab of America, we were showcasing more of our modern vehicles. Yep. We have a, a 2018 Camry that we started um, fresh in 2018 when that car launched. Uh, a, couple Supras, we have an Avalon that we had built back in um, 2019, uh, a GR86, a GR Corolla now. So really we're trying to transform our program from that, um, you know, endurance car, $500 lemons car to more modernized cars because one, we have parts available and two, it's a good uh, kind of ranking system to work our new drivers and, and developed drivers from the lower series up through Champ Car and then up through One Lap America program. As, as everyone here knows, getting to like the professional level of motorsports is is just like MLB or NFL. You're, you're looking at 0.01% of people that really make it to like not spending their own money or not or a professional level. Um, Toyota gave me an opportunity. You know, we're, we're just a semi pro team with Toyota. It's all PE engineers that that are on this team. You know, and I was able to go work a full time job for Toyota with engineering, do this on the side, and be able to get a lot of the same. Uh, opportunities that professional drivers get um, without having to bring money to the table or be the best driver in the world. So Toyota has provided a really good program for anyone that really loves cars and wants to do something like this to be able to build that skill set and while still working your core job yeah. and and you know they provide these vehicles for us and, and a lot of these parts for us to be able to put this 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 activity on. So um, I would say if, if you're interested in motorsports Going to a company like Toyota, a company like Honda, who both have really good motorsports programs, is maybe the easiest avenue if you can't go to a professional level in a race series or something along yeah. those lines because of financial reasons or, or any other, uh, other reason. I'll say outside looking in, it's really cool to see what Toyota offers and allows you guys to do. You guys are eating this up. You guys are on data constantly, you know, working on the car, wrenching. It's cool to see that you guys have gotten so involved and, and heavily involved, honestly, in the aftermarket as well, yeah. which I find really cool because you're an OE, we're aftermarket. Yeah. Some people think that that's like a button heads, but in this case, it's very much a, we, we like to help you guys. You yeah. guys seem to like to help us and you do it with other people too, so. Sure, yeah, I, I think Toyota and Honda both do a phenomenal job of uh, helping to cater to the aftermarket world. You know, T Toyota really wants to see these cars on track. You see the commercials for GR, they're all on the track in those commercials. Um, we can't always make those parts or provide certain kits that we would, that we know that the, the uh, motorsports wants for the track. So, you know, partnering with companies like Varus Engineering and Counter Space Garage and Pure Turbos and Pure Transmissions has really helped us be able to develop packages from an OE standpoint because there's maybe a little bit of a uh, benefit from a financial standpoint for us to be able to take on some of that development and not risk you know just a normal customer car and at the same time um, it, it helps the aftermarket world as well because it's it's Toyota, it's Honda, etc. These parts are going on too so uh, I think we helped you all with the oil cooler development that was a really uh, awesome project it helped our car tremendously and, and now it's out on the market I think we've we've been one of the earlier cars usually on most of the aero packages that you guys have come out with for, for the Toyota platform. So we uh, we stand by you know our aftermarket support companies like like you all and, and the others I mentioned and and really want to run those parts and want to put them to the test 
and prove from an OE standpoint that you know these parts are right for their car versus other kits that may be out on the market. Cool. Yeah, we appreciate it too. It's been a fun relationship yeah, over the years for sure. Great. So what is what is Toyota PE? Because sure. I'm still learning. Yeah. And um, what do you provide to Toyota for doing this? Like, what is Toyota's incentive to allow you to do this? Because it's it's pretty impressive. Yeah. So PE is production engineering. We are. Uh, based in Georgetown, Kentucky. It's the engineering department that, or group of engineers that oversees all of our manufacturing in North America from Canada, the US, and Mexico. Um, so we have different shops. Our team is comprised of engineers from every single different shop, whether it be assembly, paint, weld, stamping, um, quality, etc. All, all of us come in on a voluntary basis to, to work on what we call Toyota PE Motorsports. So, uh, it's a motorsports team comprised completely of engineers, uh, volunteer, anyone can join the team. And our goal through the program is really to teach people about cars from bumper to bumper. So a guy from paint shop, for example, may only see painting cars or assembly may only see the assembly portion, stamping the stamping portion. What we get out of the motorsports program is really to train people about these vehicles from the drivetrain, uh, the, a powertrain, electrical standpoint, body work, body fitment, uh, ECU tuning, you know, we, the skill set that all of us have gained by coming on a Toyota PE Motorsports is invaluable to the company. Uh, I mean, Toyota's uh, all about better cars, better engineers make better cars. We're developing better engineers with Toyota PE Motorsports. And then on top of that, uh, we have a, a huge rush of co-ops that come in every single year. So we get maybe 15, 20 co-ops a semester that come through PE and a large, a large number of those run through our program. We, we take them to events. Uh, they come into the shop and wrench on cars. They learn how to change tire, how, to, how, how body fitment works, how powertrain works, and, and it really helps them with their career as well and, and makes them more hireable or have a skill set that we really look for in, in an engineer. So, um, so far the co-op feedback has been 100% positive. Uh, we use that as a tool to justify the team and, and what we do. And, uh, we've hired uh, maybe 15 or 20 different engineers that have really said they came to Toyota because of the, the motorcycle program. I'm, I'm one of them, actually. I, I had opportunities from GE Aviation and Toyota, and this sold me to go to Toyota. So That's awesome. So it sounds like there's two really main benefits. One, you're making better engineers, and two, it's a huge recruiting Absolutely. asset for Toyota to hire better engineers. So that's pretty cool. So with all the data that you get from this car, do you feed any of that back to Toyota or Gazoo Racing? Yeah, absolutely. We uh, have had a few meetings with the chief engineers for the different platforms. You know, early on it was just the Supra. We met with the chief engineer. We create a whole feedback document. Uh, something as simple as we lock the key in the car in the trunk when we're at an event. <laughs> we're if you set the key in a specific spot, you could close the trunk and lock the lock the key in the car. That's wild. Uh, so six six a.m. at a hotel, we're breaking into the car to get the key out of it. Alarms going off, waking people up. Um, simple things like that. How the infotainment works. Um, when you push on the, the, the ignition button, what lights up versus our typical Toyota vehicles, um, the dynamics of the car. Our Camry, specifically our, our design team up in Michigan, used that vehicle for some of the aero development, aero testing for the future, for the current Camry, which is out now. Um, they wanted to see what they could put in the wind tunnel and implement for, from downforce and drag and such, as drag is a huge part of our cafe standards and, and us getting certified for a vehicle. Um, the GR86, lots of feedback. Again, we developed an entire list. Um, the, T, the, the TRD shifter, we had issues with the linkage. We were able to feed that back and, and get countermeasure cycles in. Uh, the Camry, when they went to launch the TRD, we had the 2018 Camry before the TRD. We were able to take all the TRD under bracing, brakes, suspension, um, exhaust, etc. We were able to try that on our car, help them build the manuals, and provide that feedback for what our dealerships or what our, our OE is going to see when they go to put those parts on the car so um, yeah design feedback is huge for us and um, some things we've been able to feed back and actually get changed and, and that's always a huge benefit for our customer and, and making better cars that's awesome that's really cool toyota pe motorsports is only one division of motorsports within toyota north america specifically so our indiana team indiana the manufacturing site has a team they run 24-hour lemons champ car uh, they, they ran One Lap America with us from some cars they borrowed from Plano a few years ago. West Virginia has a Camry, so they build the four-cylinder engine there. So they have a four-cylinder Camry to showcase you know, the, the product that they're making. Um, Michigan has a huge team. Our design center from Michigan uh, has a team even larger than ours. They have 
maybe 12, 15 cars at a minimum. Uh, they run rally cross, they run uh, time attack, NASA, uh, lots of different, uh, not, lots of different competencies within motorsports that that, that team's really attacking. And this past year, they actually ran uh, Pikes Peak hill climb. So, you know, we're branching out, you know, to other other sites. We were kind of like the start, the beginning team for motorsports, and we've created an OP. And we're handing that over to the different sites to help them get a team started because this has found to be such a huge benefit to the company. And everywhere that we can expand this is only helping Toyota make better cars, provide better feedback, hire more people, bring in more recruits, you know, go to universities and recruiting events and car shows. You know, we take these tools really to those events and, and, and leverage this as a reason to come work for Toyota. It really pays off, I bet. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We try to meet quarterly and talk about our upcoming events and get to the track together. We know us and Team MI ran a lemons race at NCM and we finished one too. That's it cool. was really cool to battle it out with fellow Toyota members yeah, and two cool. Cam two, uh, Camry and Avalon, basically the same <laughs> car uh, for the last stint of the race. It, yeah. it was a lot of fun. That's so super cool. that, that type of stuff really is the reason why I love Toyota and I stay at Toyota. Um, you couldn't talk me into going to another company because, you know, uh, this yeah. this this makes it worth you know engineering is a, a tough field For sure. and and the job we do and the amount of hours we put in to get our equipment running our plants keep our plants running uh, this kind of makes it all worth it for yeah. us and, and keeps us coming back to work every day with a smile that's pretty cool